there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with these new goodies from Mudracraft Stamps. I'm playing with the Love Chip Zeb and the beautiful Simple Waves stencil. So today I'm doing some double masking. I've got a piece of the Mudra masking paper there and I'm die cutting a reasonably large heart right from the centre of that piece because that's going to be the main focal point for my card today. So just peeling off my painter's tape and there's my die cut heart and I will be using both of those masks today for this card, hence the double masking title. So just giving it a bit of a flick to get the release paper off the back there so you've got the sticky mask and just putting the heart, sticking it onto my card front right back. I've worked out where the centre is and sticking it right back in the middle there, removing the negative piece and putting that aside for later. And I'm going to use the beautiful stencil pattern all the way around the outside of the heart. So just attaching my card there to my glass mat, I have to secure it a little bit more uh, firmly with my painter's tape, so it'll just hold in place. And then I'm going to use a fair bit of painter's tape to hold the stencil in place because I certainly don't want it to go anywhere as I'm applying the Nuvo Glimmer Paste with my uh, palette knife which you'll see me start doing now. So my heart is in the centre there, my heart mask. That is going to keep that part of my card clean for now and I'll just have this beautiful wavy uh, simple waves, which looks like a sort of an upside down scallop, doesn't it? I'm just going to have this pattern all around the outside edges of the heart. And that will allow me to do some ink blending in the centre, where the heart is covering now. So just applying my glimmer paste all around, trying to get it into all the little crevices of the stencil. It's a nice open stencil, so it's not, as all, not at all difficult to apply the glimmer paste. I'm just spreading it out, making sure I've got it in all the little areas. And then I've got to clean this off fairly quickly because the glimmer paste does dry fairly rapidly. So just peeling that away. And I'll head off to the sink and give that a good clean in a minute. But first of all, I just want to wipe off, grab my spatula or my palette knife again and wipe off just a couple of little bits of excess along the edges and then on my glass mat. And then it's a matter of finding the edge of the heart mask and just gently peeling it up without getting my fingers into any of the glimmer paste and smudging it anywhere where I don't want it. So gently peeling up the heart mask and as you can see you've got your beautiful pattern there. So now I have to set that aside to dry and then I'll be able to come back and once it's dry I can now use the negative portion of the mask that I cut before with the heart die lay that right down over the top of all my dried stenciling and I again I will use some painters tape just to hold my mask over the top of my card make sure that it's not going to move anywhere and I've chosen two colors of distress oxide inks picked raspberry and worn lipstick so I'm applying the picked raspberry around the outside edge of the heart and then the worn lipstick the lighter of the two colours will go in the centre and they blend nicely these two for a Valentine's card which is of course what I'm making today. So just making sure my mask stays uh, firmly in place and I, that I don't accidentally lift it up. I'm coming in from the edge of the mask each time with my blending and not going back towards the mask at all which might just accidentally lift the edge of it up which would not be great because then I'll get ink where I don't want it. So these Distress Oxide inks are so easy to blend. That's why I picked the Oxides today and not the straight Distress inks. They're a little bit more difficult 
you've got to work a little bit harder at it. The Distress Oxides are very creamy and they do go on really easily. So that's the Pick Raspberry first. Now onto the Worn Lipstick and adding that in the centre and blending it out with the Picked Raspberry. And then I'll go once more back to each of those colours until I'm happy with the blend. As you can see I had a little peek there just to make sure my blended heart is looking how I want it to look and I'm very happy with that so I'm peeling up my mask and I will dispose of that and then put that aside to dry. Now I've got some old glimmer mist here. It's a beautiful colour but as you can see it wasn't spraying so something had blocked the nozzle. So I just poured it into a little bowl I have at my desk and that's okay, I'll just apply it with a paintbrush for now, it's, it's not a problem. You can colour your chips with anything you like. If you've got other uh, distress stains or sprays or paints or inks, of course the chip zeb colours up really nicely with all of those. So there is a gorgeous uh, golden shimmer in this glimmer mist. It's an old, old one from Tattered Angels and I've had it for about 10 years and that's why you see me really giving it a good stir because I'm trying to get all the little bits of gold pigment um, mixed up into the paint or the ink. So the funny thing was I put this aside to dry and I left my desk and came back about half an hour later and when I got back there was a spray across my desk right across my desk where the bottle had obviously unblocked itself and shot out a, a spray of mist right across, thankfully not on anything that mattered. And so I then was able to use the spray just to give it one more little coat. Now I'm using a white pigment ink and a sponge dauber to apply just a, a little highlighter around the edge of the chipboard piece just for a little bit of extra detail because there's quite a bit of white on the card and I thought a little bit of white detail just around the sentiment would look nice in the centre of the card and help it to stand out a bit more. So then I put that aside to dry and then it's just a matter of adding my liquid glue to the back using my T-square ruler and then I'm able to make sure it's all nicely lined up in the center of my heart. A few of the beautiful sequins from the Harvest Mix pack and Sugar Plum Mix pack as well. I'll add those and my Valentine's card is complete. 